Okay, so next up, we are going to add custom fields. What custom fields are we adding? First, we are going to add a description field, and then a category field, and then we are going to use the schema builder here. You remember from the previous trails, we've used schema builder. On the schema builder, we are going to add status field and a date field, all right? So that's pretty much it. So we're going to add four new custom field. One and two and three and four, all right? So let's head over to our playground gear icon setup as usual and then we are going to the object manager and we were working with the suggestion object suggestion over here and hit suggestion fields and relationships and the first one would be description field over here and the label is suggestion description it's going to be this length and visible line is 10, all right? So let's build that out. I'm going to make a new field. It's going to be a text area long, right? Double confirm, text area long, right? As you can see there. And I'm gonna hit next. The label would be suggestion description. We want 10 lines over there, okay? Do we have a default value? I don't think so. We, we have a help text here. So I'm just gonna copy this help text over here and paste it on the help text. Please enter as much detail around this suggestion so we clearly understand your idea. And next, I'm gonna make it all visible we don't have any rules, right? So I'm just going to save and new. So I'm going to make it visible for everybody and save and new. And then our next field, which is a category field, is going to be a pick list. And the name is suggestion category here, right? Should be straightforward. A pick list over here. I'm going to hit next at the bottom. Suggestion category. We are going to enter the values and the values are this and then deselect restrict pick list to the values defined to the values set, right? And I'm gonna go back here and paste and deselect this. What does this mean again? Do you remember from the previous trail? It means if we restrict this, no other value can ever exist. If we just uncheck this, people can add other values as they enter the data. For example, as they're importing data from data loader, from the import wizard or through the API using code, they can add values that, that is not listed here. So this is what they want on the challenge, right? So we are going to uh, this deselect and then pretty much save, right? And next and make everything visible and next and save so we got two custom fields created now try out the app so if we click on let's move this tab here we are already on the suggestion box so you can click over here and search for your app suggestion box click that and you basically load this page and basically you can create an add new suggestion, right? And you can, you can see how it looks right now. If I wanna make a new suggestion, there. We have category, right? And we have the description and the name, okay? So I'm gonna cancel out and go back here. We are going to create two more fields, all right? From the schema builder. All right, let's go ahead and play around with the schema builder. Go back to our tab here. So we are on setup, right? On the setup page from here, remember, gear icon setup, which is this page here. 
I'm going to go home and type what? Schema Builder. Schema Builder. And as it loads, so if you see, whoa, what's going on, dude? There's so many stuff. Budung, budung, budung. <laughs> so that's going to be confusing. What is all this stuff, right? So let's take everything out. Clear all. Boom. Now it's blank. See? Nothing is here. You can't see nothing. I'm just going to put my suggestion box. Boom. And where is it? Suggestion box. I want to add the suggestion box. So where did you go? There you go. And let's crank this. Oh, this is already maximum zoom. So we have the suggestion box loaded. So if I check this off, gone. Boom. We've talked about this in the previous trail, right? Admin beginner, remember? So let's go back here. We are going to add a new status field. So to add that, we go to the elements tab, all right? And add a pick list and the name is status, okay? Pretty straightforward. So elements tab, we want to add a pick list, pick list here, right? And just drag it over, boom. Status. Do we have a values? Yes, we do. One per line. Oh, can I just copy this, please? Yeah. There we go. Copy that and paste it over here. Boom. You can drag this. Oh, wrong place. <laughs> Undo. Paste on the values there. Now you can drag this corner here. I want to drag this so I can see, right? There is new under consideration, in progress, and implemented, okay? I don't want to display it alphabetically. I just want it to look like this. And I don't want to use the first value as default value. I'm just going to save it. Now you can see we have the status there. Awesome. Status on the top. All right. Oh, we have to use first value as default value. I missed that. Go back. Double click here. And where is it? Okay. Um, edit field properties, probably. Nope. If I right click um, permission. No. So I'm just going to delete the field and redo it. Yes. So I'm going to drag the pick list again here and put the status field as status. Boom. Values over here and drag this so you can see and use first value as default value. Save it. Done. Okay. Sometimes you miss stuff that's normal in Salesforce, but then you have to fix it. Okay. Now, Whilst in the schema builder, right click the status that you just added and manage permissions. Select read only checkbox at the top of the column to make this read only for all users. In the read only column, deselect this admin. So this admin can both read and write, and everybody else can only read that status. Okay. So you right click on here and manage field permissions. And make everybody can see read only for everybody but the sysadmin. Sysadmin can save or modify everybody else. Read only you can see but you cannot touch. Save it and go back here. And now we add a date field. Same thing but now it it's named implemented date for this particular suggestion idea okay i'm gonna copy that so i can paste it over here and what type is it oh it's a date field right it's a date field d and drag boom implement a date let's not miss stuff let's read it thoroughly leave the defaults for the remaining fields okay that's cool leave the leave the default as the remaining fields i'm going to save that so we have implemented date, we have status, right? Now, next we update the implemented date 
field security. So security, field permissions, the same thing. Only the sysadmin can modify it. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Right click, permission. Everybody can see. Everybody can see, but admin can touch. Save. <laughs> Okay, go back here and we can verify this tab here and we're pretty much done. And I'll see you on the next section. Bada bing and bada boom. <laughs> I'll see you on the next section. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom